Hey guys, uh, how are you doing? Uh, today I have come up with another video series and this time I have decided to make a video series on different animal science topics as my expertise lies within the area of animal science and the first video on this series is um, welfare issues on broilers and uh, broilers as you all know uh, is a rapidly growing bird uh, which is farmed uh, throughout the world and whenever we talk about welfare issues in broilers this can mainly be divided into five different uh, areas uh, the first of them would be rapid growth rate and second would be high stocking density and third welfare issue related to broilers would be poor environmental conditions and then transport and then slaughter so let's go to uh, rapid growth rate and as you can see here in the picture, um, this bud, uh, which is roughly around 40 gram on very first day, would grow to a enormous bud of uh, two to and a half kg within a matter of uh, 40 days or less. And as a result of that, um, these birds can suffer from lameness uh, because uh, the leg may not be able to grow as rapidly as other parts of body. Um, and as a result, uh, they might have leg weakness and also that could lead to joint problem. And as leg is unable to support uh, body, uh, then they, they may not be able to walk from, from one place to another place and may, ne may not be able to access feed and water, which could compromise their welfare. And also as they are not able to move, uh, their body part could uh, touch weight litter or floor for a longer period of time, which could lead to contact dermatitis. And that is another welfare concern. And so the another issue is um, uh, strain to organs um, as a result of fast growth rate. Um, when they are really growing fast, um, the capacity of lung uh, may not be uh, may not be good enough to support whole body, and um, and as a result that causes a lot of stress to heart, and there will be low oxygenated blood to support rapid growth, and as a result that causes increased blood pressure and congestion of blood vessels, and and um, and that could lead escape of serum to the body cavities that could that could cause. Uh, the problems such as ascites, ascites and also sudden death syndrome. So these are some of the issues associated with fast growth rate. And the another issue is uh, another welfare issue is associated with high stocking density. Uh, let's go further into that. So when there is high stocking density, um, as you can see uh, throughout the broiler farmings, uh, broiler farmings, um, those birds are raised in a very high stocking density that means the, there will be many birds in certain square meters and more and it can be most of the time more than recommended so when there is high stocking density or when there are many birds per square meter that could cause um, a reduced expression of natural behaviors because as a result of high stocking density uh, the bird will find difficulties uh, in moving around and there will be more disturbances and as a result um, there will be reduced movement and and when they are not moving enough the leg becomes weak and also there will be poor bone development and also as a result of disturbances uh, due to other birds uh, near nearby uh, they will spend less time in natural behaviors, uh, different kind of natural behaviors such as feeding, walking, foraging um, and other sorts of natural behavior. They will have a poor farm environment um, such as pollution, wet litter and high temperature that could cause uh, poor welfare to the birds. And uh, the other welfare issue associated with broilers is uh, related to poor environmental conditions and uh, poor environmental conditions include poor air quality uh, so um, that means uh, there could be high amount of dust um, in the in the broiler farming environment um, and there could be more carbon dioxide or ammonia so ammonia is one of the gas that could compromise uh, welfare of broilers so whenever the litter is not uh, not of uh, good quality or whenever the litter is wet the and uh, and due to the reaction uh, reaction um, bacterial reaction in the in the in the broiler feces uh, that could um, cause 
excessive production of ammonia and this ammonia can damage mucous membrane of eyes nose and mouth and uh, also that could uh, increase the chance of bacterial contamination bacterial uh, infection and the other um, environmental condition associated uh, is temperature and heat stress so as um, as broilers are really growing fast um, that may cause a uh, high metabolic uh, reaction within the body and the bird may not, bird may not be able to um, lose heat um, as much as possible and as a result they will reduce walking and um, and there will also be low feed intake and when there is heat stress um, a lot of panting can be seen as you can see here in the picture and this kind of heat stress could cause death in broilers and the another issue associated with poor environmental condition is poor litter quality uh, in most of the broiler house uh, litters are not cleaned usually and um, and those wet litter or poor litter affects uh, skin and could cause dermatitis and uh, and also they they cause they, they negatively affect uh, expression of natural behaviors in birds and also light is another issue um, light can become another welfare issue in broiler farming um, in in broiler industry broilers um, are kept in light whenever they need to feed the birds and uh, as broilers eat in the light and uh, to stimulate the faster growth um, growth uh, they are kept in longer schedule of light so that they eat more and accumulate um, more weight um, which can lead to exertion and stress in the birds so the another uh, welfare issue uh, associated with uh, broilers uh, is related to transport uh, so so when bird grows uh, to the weight of uh, two or two and a half kg then they are transported to the slaughterhouse and while transporting um, the birds are kept in uh, birds are first um, caught uh, using their legs um, although there are many other systems uh, which uh, can be used to catch the birds and also these birds are kept in uh, withdrawn from feed and uh, while transporting in truck uh, the space allowance may not be as good um, and also as a result of this kind of um, stress uh, there would be there there could be de death of birds um, during transport and also other welfare issue associated with transport is latest time so let's go more into that so so while catching birds when they reach uh, to the weight of uh, two and a half kg or more than two kg uh, the the poultry handlers handlers they catch uh, birds uh, using one or two legs and sometimes uh, they they catch uh, three four birds per with one hand and those birds are kept in inverted position um and uh, these uh, rough these rough handling uh, can cause stress to birds and the birds become more fearful that could lead to trauma that could lead to leg injury broken legs bruises and other issues which is uh, which is why this is one of the major welfare issues and uh, also those birds when they are transported to the slaughterhouse they are withdrawn from feed um, which causes weight loss stress and also infection and whole sort of um, welfare issues and uh, as you can see here in the picture uh, these birds are um, kept with very high stocking density in those trucks when they are transported to slaughterhouse that could lead to stress and other welfare issues and also um, due to these kind of injuries and stress that leads to deaths of many broilers that is called dead on arrival so more dead on arrival means more stress to bird and more compromise of uh, welfare of broilers and also when they are transported to the slaughterhouse right before that they are kept in layers um, layers the and if the layers time is more that that could lead to stress uh, to the birds and the last um, but not the least um, area related to welfare issues of broilers is um, is uh, during the slaughter process so let's go more into that so while uh, while slaughtering the birds um, birds these birds are hanged um, and um, this kind of sackling that that causes pain trauma 
uh, to the birds and uh, and these birds are inverted uh, with their head down that could cause stress and a lot of birds can be seen flapping their wings very vigorously that causes stress and there could be more noise that causes even more fear within the birds and the other uh, welfare issue uh, could be related to stunning so uh, there, there are three different type of stunning, electric stunning, gas stunning and low atmospheric pressure stunning and electric stunning is associated to pre-stunning shocks. So whenever uh, those birds are kept in water bath and they are given electric shock, if there is, um, if there is some issue uh, with that, uh, then bird could get more shock or if the, if the system is uh, not running properly, they could get half hazard electric stunning that could um, lead to unnecessary shock to the birds and that could be very uh, very bad to the birds in terms of welfare and the other uh, stunning method is gas stunning which is slightly better than um, which we can say is uh, better than um, electric stunning but uh, the duration of unconsciousness is very short and those gas which are used for gas stunning could be abrasive for example carbon dioxide has been shown to be abrasive to birds and another issue, another stunning method is a low atmospheric pressure system, which causes a gradual induction of con unconsciousness in broilers and is better than uh, the previous methods. And the other um, method of stunning or killing um, broilers is by bleeding, which involves cutting veins, arteries um, in the necks. And if we do bleeding without proper stunning, that compromises welfare of the birds. So uh, in summary, uh, these are the welfare issues associated with the broiler industry. And, um, and, um, and thank you for uh, watching uh, my video and I hope this video has been useful to the students of animal science and please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and, uh, and uh, if you have any comments on this video, please put your comments uh, down in this video. Uh, thank you guys.